Hey guys, this is Tutorial312, and today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make an impression in Photoshop. I'm just going to set this to black and... Okay, sorry. Just had to fix that up there. Okay, now this is going to be how to make an impression in uh, object or whatever you want. So, first you want to go to File and new or control n and you want to make the width whatever I'm going to just going to do 5 sorry 500 by 500 and then I'm going to make a shape I'm going to just make around a rectangle I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag it out like that then I'm gonna add a gradient a gradient overlay so go to down to effects here and then choose the gradient overlay click on the gradient bar to choose the gradient editor and then I'm just gonna create this kind of color for it. And then I'm going to choose the same color there and make it darker. Okay. 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 Now, create a new layer, then what you want to do is, uh, I'll just move this bit with my arrow keys. Okay, so now, what you want to do is you want to hold down control and click on the vector mask, and it makes a selection then you want to go to the elliptical marquee tool you want to hold shift and alt I think and you want to drag out uh, wait, no, that won't work undo 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 <laughs> control shift sorry shift and alt and then just drag out something like this make the foreground white and then go to the gradient tool and select foreground to transparent hold down the shift key and draw a line down the middle and then I'm just going to decrease the opacity a bit just to make a bit of a shine then control D to deselect then I'm going to make a new shape like this and I'm just gonna make sure it's a new layer and then I'm gonna put the style to none and then I'm going to drag shape out like that control shift H to hide the path edit transform, rotate count clockwise 90 degrees then use the V key as a shortcut tool to make it just to position it around here okay now we want to add some layer style so FX and then bevel and emboss put the this as emboss then the position direction to down make the size whatever you want like that I'm just gonna put it like that and then maybe yeah and then just 
do whatever. I'm gonna decrease the opacity a little bit. Okay. Then you wanna make us make a stroke, put the position to inside, make it white. Then you can make the size like this or something. And then go to blending options, then put down the fill opacity like that and you can like have a stroked um like an outline of an arrow or you can disable the stroke and make an impression just like that so there's nothing there but it's actually there this is what I use to make an impression anyway if you have a better way of doing it leave a video response and you can move it so it looks all cool like and whatever I discovered this while I was making a an iPhone icon just about five minutes ago so leave a comment or a video response if you know a better way of doing this thanks this has been a tutorials from tutorials for you 12 check out my Twitters my YouTube my blogs blogs because I have more than one and um, the link to my wallpaper will be in the description bye wait what am I thinking this is in Camtasia sorry and goodbye